In this chapter, we will discuss about IBM I. We will go through its history and we will see some of the features of IBM I. So let's get started. IBM I is an operating system developed by IBM. Just like Windows, it runs on supporting hardware and the hardware for IBM I is known as IBM Power System. Hence, IBM I operating system runs on power hardware. The power hardware can also run AIX and Linux operating system. We can install multiple operating systems on the same power hardware. To do that, we need to do the logical partitioning that is LPAR of the hardware. Each logical partition can have different or same operating system and will have its own hardware resources. Each partition works independently. That is, even if one operating system stops working, it doesn't affect other partition. Hence, each partition operates as an independent server. IBM I operating system is used by the industries to install their business applications and get their data processed by the applications. Due to its great processing capability, IBM I can process huge amount of business data in very less span of time. Let's see how IBM I operating system got evolved through the time. System 38 and System 36 was the predecessor of AS400. These systems were best suited for general business and small-scale business. System 38, launched in 1978, was the first mid-range system to have an integrated relational database. In 1988, IBM launched AS400, which was best suited for small and mid-level industries. It was the extension of System 38 and had the support to the programs that were written for System 36. We call these systems as mid-range system because these systems were best suited for mid-level industries. The cost of these systems were best optimized for mid-level industries and the processing capability was fair enough to process their business data. AS400 architecture went through many evolution to become a system with modern architecture which can support the current technologies. The change in architecture also led to the rebranding of AS400. With the involvement in architecture, it was rebranded to i-series in 2000, and then it became IBM System I in 2006. IBM System I was further replaced by IBM Power System architecture in April 2008, and then finally it became Power 9 in 2020. The operating system for AS400 also got renamed with the rebranding. As we can see here in the picture, initially it was OS 400, then it became i5 OS, and finally it became IBM i. IBM i 7.4 is the latest operating system version. Still many people call the system as AS 400 rather than calling it as IBM i system. But if you compare today's IBM i system with AS 400, it's very different. Its architecture has evolved through the time to support current technologies. Today's IBM I system has features like storage in terabyte, enhanced security features, protection from data loss, and almost zero downtime. It provides support to all the devices, for example, Mac, Windows, and mobile. It provides support to modern languages like PHP, Python, Node.js, etc. It gives support to World Wide Web and can be integrated with many web services. It can be integrated with modern technologies like Internet of Things and Artificial Intelligence. But AS400 as a trademark name became so much popular that it became a generic name over the time and many people still call the system as AS400 rather than calling it as IBM I. Now let's see the database which comes integrated with IBM I system. When we install IBM I, it comes integrated with relational database. This relational database is known as DB2 for I. It includes all the feature of RDMS system. Now let's see where IBM I are used nowadays. As discussed earlier, IBM I acts as a server and is used by many industries to process its business data. It can process huge amount of business data in very less span of time. 
The business applications are installed on IBMI server. This is just like we install applications on Windows operating system. The applications can be accessed by GUI. Suppose we have installed an ERP software on IBMI system. The modules of ERP software, for example, order entry module can be accessed on IBMI server to perform order entry business activity. Once we have entered the order in the system, it is saved in integrated database that is db24i. One thing if you notice here is that the GUI appears in green color that is the default color setting of IBMI emulator. Hence many people call IBMI as green screen as well. Let's see another scope of IBMI system. IBMI can be integrated with different interfaces. The information can be exchanged to and from the server using various integration methods like API, XML interface, JDBC or DBC connection, HTTP request, etc. For example, it can be integrated with RFS scanner device which is used in warehouse management system. They use the RF devices to scan and pick any item from any specified location from the warehouse. Once they scan the item and confirm the picking process, the inventory value is adjusted in the database and all the files related to the order is updated in the database. The scanner device is integrated with IBMI database by using some integration methods like API or JDBC or DBC connection. Now let's see another scope of IBMI. IBMI can also be integrated with mobile devices. Just like a scanner device, mobile device can also be integrated with IBMI database by using some integration methods. We can take an example of a requisition approval process. As we know that when we create a requisition, it may go for an approval if the approval amount is more than the allowed purchase amount. In almost all the industries, they develop a mobile app which can be used to approve or reject the requisition. Obviously, the mobile device is integrated with IBMI database using some integration method. Once the approval is done from the mobile device, it updates the IBMI system and sets the approved flag. Based on the approved flag value, the purchase order is created from the requisition. Now let's see another scope of IBMI system. IBMI is web enabled. We can use IBMI web server or HTTP server to access the data over the internet. IBMI web server on IBMI is a program which runs on the server all the time. We can send a browser request via internet to access an application on IBMI system. This request is taken by the web browser and after that it processes the request and then present the web files to the browser. Hence IBMI can be integrated with almost all the devices. It gives supports to World Wide Web and can be integrated with web services. It can be integrated with modern technologies like Internet of Things and Artificial Intelligence. Now let's move on to industrial scope of IBMI system. IBMI is used almost all the industries. For example, it is used in pharmaceutical industries, healthcare, banking, retail, manufacturing, e-commerce, etc. More than 1 lakh companies are using IBMI system. Some other companies using IBM IE have been listed here in the diagram. Now let's discuss some of the features of IBM IE system. One of the features of IBM IE is that it is object oriented. That is in IBM IE everything is an object. It means whenever we create something on IBM IE, for example files, modules, store procedures, tables, these all are objects. Similar to Windows or Linux, where everything is files of different file types, the same way in IBM IE, we have objects of different object types. Let's see another feature of IBM IE system. IBM IE supports programming languages like RPG, C, C++, PHP Python, etc. It supports all the modern day programming languages.